So most of the time I'm just that weird quirky tech guy that collects and hoards obsolete <laughs> gadgets and some strange ones as well. Uh, however, on some occasions I manage to turn a small profit. Now even though I paid an arm and a leg for this GH4 here, I bought it brand new a couple of years ago and I have made a review and explained the reasoning behind that purchase so you can check it out here. Also, I got this Lumix 12 to 60 millimeter lens for the uh, for the GH4 camera, of which I managed to do a review here. Sometimes, though, I'm I got some good deals like this Lumix G1, of which I placed a review. I will place a review link here, and also to the 12 to 32 millimeter pancake lens. Now why I mention all this is because a couple of months ago I have purchased another lens. This one is the 14 to 42 Lumix lens. Now, and granted this is not not that big of a deal and it's not something very desirable. It's more the backbone of uh, kit lens. It's a mild zoom lens and it offers mediocre to well to acceptable performance. However the price I got this for is quite well I would say convenient if not really a good deal or a great deal at that. It cost me around 40 euros plus shipping and if you check out international sites for, for uh, what these go for in the second-hand market or the refurbished market, well, it's still pretty cheap considering it's in great nick. Now, at first, I was a bit worried that this thing would cause, would uh, I don't know, would hide some major flaw, some major defect, which would render it almost unusable or unacceptable in terms of performance and uh, reliability but actually it works just fine now i'm not gonna pretend i know what i'm talking about because i'm a well i'm a beginner videographer at best but i can compare it to my other lens specifically to this 12 to 60 kit lens which is the backbone or rather it had has been my backbone when I filmed with the Lumix camera. This is a long story as well, more of a blog uh, subject, but really I don't have time to set up the camera for these uh, videos. I have to work fast because I'm really at a, sh I, I stretch my time, my schedule quite, quite often. So this is the reasoning behind me not filming with the professional grade camera at least that's what I tell myself uh, but I haven't abandoned the idea case in point I have purchased this lens now what I intend to do is take a couple of shots while I mount this camera and to provide you with some samples and I guess you could judge for yourselves as the if this Lumix 14 to 42 is comparable with the 12 to 60 if it's worth the money or if it's worth more money or whatever your conclusions might be because at this point it's more of an open topic to me since I haven't actually filmed with this and I don't really have the well the initiative in the near future to use it as a prime lens so without any further ado let's just try to get the battery for the Lumix GH4 Insert it right here and try to. Well, first of all, let's use the 25 millimeter lens which came with the kit. Oddly enough, this is not a kit lens per se, it's not a zoom lens, but it came with the Lumix GH4. So, let me just uh, uh, place it correctly in the micro four thirds bayonet or mount. And there we go. Now what I'm looking for is something 
with a bit of a detail and to get some idea if subject separation is possible or where where that is best achieved and I guess I have found the correct setup now what this being a 25 millimeter lens I have to move further along uh, from the camera to take the shot let me just try to adjust this okay so let's see what the end result is and I'll also place it on the well inside the video so you can see everything now again this is not supposed to be something a very um, professional grade I just want to see if there's there's enough detail if there's enough subject separation in the background and if the well if the coloring which which coloring is better and so on and so forth so let me just exit the menu and switch to my 12 to 60 lens by the way i'll zoom out from the clip so you can see what i'm actually doing here now this is the 12 to 60 lens which i consider it the bread and butter of my kit because really it does everything it's supposed to do at least in terms of beginner videography so i just took a snap let's see what the result is now I'll let you decide on the picture what you which one you think is best but to me the most obvious thing is there's no not such a big sub subject separation uh, in the background and that's due to the uh, the f-stop um, this is only an f 3.5 to f 5.6 I believe sorry don't quote me on that um it's not such a great performer compared to the uh, lumix 25 millimeters but it still does all right now then let me just remove this lens and use the new 14 to 42 lens and see what the end result is which one is better which one performs better um now again I'm going to use the wide setting wide setting so you can compare it correctly to the 12 to 60 millimeter lens so anyway here we go let's just uh, try to zoom out adjust the focus correctly now granted this one is a bit grimy inside because I can feel the the focus ring <laughs> struggling a bit but Hey, if it works, it works. Okay. So here is the end result, 12 millimeter lens, 12 millimeter setup. Uh, not much uh, else in terms of settings. Well, well, the picture should be nearly identical with the previous one. Now, granted, I have used a different distance, but the pic, the all the shots are basically identical. And yeah, well, as you can see, I think it's a clear winner for the 25 millimeter lens, which I hold in my hand right here. Now the question remains: which one is better of the these two? and i guess i shall let you decide so i hope you've enjoyed this video and remember i mostly buy and collect weird quirky obsolete tech stuff though sometimes i give uh, rational and justifiable <laughs> marketing advice uh, like this uh, lens comparison right here thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye